In today's video, we'll see how to add calcium nutrient to plants. We all the people who likes to uh, grow plants in our houses or around our houses. If we are having small place also, we used to bring small pots and we used to place small plants in it and we used to water them daily. In some cases, uh, in our busy schedules and all, we are not uh, uh, like uh, seeing the proper nutrient. We are not providing the proper nutrient to the plants. In some cases, we used to see few people in our houses or our friends used to throw eggshells or peeled uh, onions or peeled vegetable waste to the plants in order to add few more nutrients for the plants growth. See how to add the calcium content to the plants. Uh, in general, calcium is the one of the four most important essential nutrient for the plant regrowth and which see, which builds uh, uh, like immunity in the plants for affecting from the different diseases which were affected by the environmental condition without any chemical content so coming to the chemical content point of view we are all using the fertilizers which are having high chemical content in it which gives a negative impact to the environmental issues and to the plant also or the tree which you are growing in your balcony or in your garden so better to go up with uh, like uh, chemical free uh, products like uh, uh, biodegradable products or uh, products organic products uh, so that uh, uh, which brings a great change in the plant's health so we will we have few things here these are nothing but the uh, seashells recently i have visited a marine area there after enjoying in the marine area i saw this uh, seashells and i collected few seashells here uh, we'll use seashells as an uh, fertilizer organic uh, fertilizers which will be make seashell ash and will be giving to the plants as a nutrient uh, so that we can see the growth now i will convert this uh, seashells into seashells ash so that we will be having more calcium content for us uh, for the regrowth of the or the growth or regrowth of the plant in a good way now we will start our video and before starting this if you are new to the channel please do subscribe our channel elegant corner and click on the bell icon uh, after posting the video you will be getting the notification See we have different sizes of the seashells here, few seashells are very big and few seashells are small in size and we have different different sizes here, see here, we have different different sizes, uh, I think these are purely uh, uh, high source of calcium which are used uh, for the growth of the plant or which are used for the nutrients for the plant, so we will start uh, converting them uh, solid form to uh, say very tiny solid form like making this uh, solid to the ash format. So for this, see so I am using this uh, jar net so that it will be useful to hold the uh, like uh, seashells properly for burning all the sides equally so that will be, uh, be it is uh, somewhat easy for us to make them as into ash. See so I am placing all the seashells equally here. See so I am not burning all the seashells uh, which are here. I will burn few seashells and I will convert into ash. Later on as per your requirement, if you are having more garden or more plants in your area or in your balcony, you can uh, convert them into more ash. So I placed uh, 6 seashells into this net and I, I will start burning them. I am placing a small net on the top so uh, 
here uh, you can notice the change in the color of the seashells of one of its side see here uh, so the white she uh, seashells were turned into black color now i will uh, just move them and i will change its direction so that the other side also um, they can burn properly So you can see the change in the color of this uh, seashell see here. Now you can see that the seashells were uh, totally burned properly which uh, these are burning on the high flame Now we'll switch off this stove and make the seashells cool so that we can easily crush them into small fine powder Now under the tap we will wash the seashells you can see how hot was the seashells are See, you can see the change in its color. Initially, the color of the seashells were pure white. Let the seashells dry in the sun's heat. So, expose them to the sun's light for one or two hours. So, all the moisture content will be evaporated. So, the seashells were ready for the crush, crushing procedure now we will start crushing the seashells by using this uh, stone and this uh, cotton cover so i will place all the seashells in this cotton cover and uh, uh, crush them with the help of the stone Since these seashells were exposed to higher temperature at the initial stage, while we are crushing, it is so easy to get them into this powder format. Now, we can use these seashells as fertilizers for the plants for its better growth.